This is how the very first digital spreadsheet looked like. Back in 1979, this was revolutionary. When you update one cell in a spreadsheet, the rest of the sheet would get updated automatically. But I bet you are still using spreadsheets like it's 1999. I mean, 1979. In this video, I'm going to show you what you didn't know your spreadsheets could do. We're going to build our personal automation hub on top of Google Sheets. Let's dive in. Starting with accessing data from your favorite apps. So you probably have tons of different web apps from Google Calendar to Gmail. How do you get information from those resources? You can't really other than copy pasting information back and forth into a spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how to do this automatically using this extension called Bardeen. You can grab the link to it and all of the automations I'm going to show you in this video, in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. Let me show you this first automation that's going to create a list of all of the meetings within a given time frame in the Google Sheet. So let's go ahead and click on try it. And this Chrome extension is going to open up with this automation. So here we need to specify a time range. We have the start date and the end date. So I want the start date to be three months ago and the end date to be now. Then we need to specify a spreadsheet. I can also create a spreadsheet from scratch and let's call it my meetings, just like this. Let's click on save and run this automation. Here we have our spreadsheet, let's open it up. And here I have a list of all of my meetings. Now you can grab data from pretty much any of your web app that integrates with Bardeen and view it nicely in the Google spreadsheet. You can do it also with one click. Here's another example. This automation will export of HubSpot contacts in the Google sheet. Let's try it. We can specify a sheet. Let's create all contacts spreadsheet and let's run this automation. Bam, that easy. Let me show you how to build automations that export data from web apps and add them to a Google Sheet. We're going to open up Bardeen and create a new playbook. The first action is going to extract information from a given web app. It could be Asana, ClickUp, Google Calendar, Gmail, pretty much any app that Bardeen integrates with. And we're going to pick HubSpot for this example. Once you have HubSpot selected, we have a few types of actions. Uh, the first type is create, then we have delete, we have get, and then we have the when, which is a trigger command. We're going to cover it a little bit later. So we want to extract data from HubSpot. I'm going to click on this uh, get HubSpot company. And here we have an argument that says, hey, do you want to only get companies that have a certain name or a certain domain? If you leave this field blank, it's going to extract all companies that you can find in our integrated HubSpot account. So we're grabbing data and now we need to add this data to a spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and do exactly this. Uh, I'm going to create a new action. And here I'm going to pick Google Spreadsheets this time. We want to add additional rows. So we can create a new Google Sheet, for example, or we can add rows in the Google Spreadsheet. So let's create a new spreadsheet every time when we run this automation. I'm going to pick this create Google Sheet action and call this HubSpot Contacts. So every time we run this automation, a new spreadsheet will be created. It will have this name, HubSpot Contacts, and then we want to populate that spreadsheet with information coming from HubSpot. Let's pick Google Spreadsheets again and use this add rows to Google Sheet. The first argument is which spreadsheet do we want to add the information to? We're going to pick the one that was created in action two. And the second argument allows us to create columns in that spreadsheet, or we can just use commands and get all of the information that will come from that HubSpot company information. So this action returns table data, then we are creating a new spreadsheet. Then we're adding new rows to a spreadsheet that we've just created using the information from action number one. Uh, let's click on done and call this HubSpot to Sheets demo. This is our automation, click on save, and we can run this with one click. There's the spreadsheet, let's 
click on view. This is just one way to bring data into your Google spreadsheet. Let's create a new tab over here. You can access real time data from Google Finance, for example. Let's do exactly this. We can do a price in column A, ticker, that's going to be the public company that we're tracking. For example, uh, we have Apple, and then let's do Tesla. This is the ticker for Tesla. And here under formulas, we want to type Google Finance and point to that ticker right there. And here's how we get real time data. Let's drag it down, boom. Okay, cool. We can import data from external resources, but what happens when data changes? The spreadsheet stays old and sad. Now let's turn our spreadsheet into a teenager that stays on top of everything that happens. Well, the one that's responsible. We're going to add a trigger action that will update our spreadsheet when something happens in one of your apps. For this demo, we're going to create an automation that will add a new spreadsheet row in this spreadsheet when there is a new Asana task created. Let's open up Bardeen, which you can open from any tab in your browser. And this time we're going to create an auto book. This is what we create playbooks or automations, but that have a trigger action. Let's find Asana over here. And here we have the trigger when Asana task is created in a project. So let's pick this branding redesign campaign. So when a new task is created in that project, we're going to create a new spreadsheet row. Let's find Google Spreadsheets and add rows to a spreadsheet. This one is called tasks right there. And Bardeen already knows the column names that are in this spreadsheet. Let's open up Bardeen from here. And now we're going to map data that comes from that previous Asana action onto our spreadsheet. So for column task, we're going to get the task name. Let's get the assignee name, the due date. And finally, the description notes over here. Let's click on done and let's save this automation. We're going to call it Asana to sheets. Click on save and activate this auto book so that it runs. You can also deactivate it by toggling over here. If you click on show activity, you'll see all of the invocations of this action. Now let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to create a new task, call it YouTube video. Assignee is going to be myself over here. Let's add the due date in a couple days. And that's pretty much it. We've created our Asana task. Let's go back to our spreadsheet over here and wait for about one minute until this automation is triggered. But now all the other apps are probably feeling the FOMO. They want to know what's happening in your spreadsheet when it gets updated. Let's create an automation to send information from a spreadsheet to your favorite apps. I'm going to use HubSpot, one of my favorites. I have a pre-built spreadsheet to create HubSpot tickets from this spreadsheet. We have the subject line, the stage, the priority, etc. So all I want to do is want to open up Bardeen back up, create another automation over here. Let's pick Google Spreadsheet, scroll all the way down and say, hey, when a row gets added to a Google Spreadsheet, or you can say edit or update it, I'm going to use edit this time. And I'm going to say when it gets added to the spreadsheet that's called all HubSpot tickets. Okay, this one. So that's going to be our trigger action. And this action is going to return a row that was just added into our spreadsheet. Now I want to get the data from that row and add it to our favorite app, HubSpot. Let's go. And we're going to create a new HubSpot ticket. It's honestly that easy. And we're going to pick the subject line. You can click on insert over here and pick information coming from the trigger action, data, pick subject. We have different pipelines. Uh, those are going to get preloaded from my HubSpot account that I have integrated. Let's pick support pipeline. All of the tickets are going to have new stage and content. Let's click on insert and pick content from the ticket content row. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to click on done over here, call it sheets to HubSpot tickets. Save and enable this automation. It's showtime. Let's create a HubSpot ticket directly from spreadsheets. Fix something on the website. Placeholder content for ticket content. 
And that's actually everything I need. This time though, I'm going to open up Bardeen over here. I'm going to click on show activity and wait until this automation gets triggered. Data enrichment. What if you could grab information from external resources, from your CRM, from a data enrichment platform and put it back into your spreadsheet? In this section, we're going to do exactly this. Here we have our fresh spreadsheet for contacts. So when somebody adds this email variable, I want to find the name of the company, the name of the person and say their LinkedIn profile. Let's build this automation. I'm going to open up Bardeen create a new automation. And now I'm going to find our Google spreadsheet action and I'm going to manually trigger it. So it's not going to be triggered automatically when a new spreadsheet is added, only when I want to enrich the data. So for that, I want to get a table from a Google spreadsheet. And this means that it's going to collect all of the data that's in that spreadsheet. And let's find information in HubSpot context spreadsheet. That's the one, pick sheet one. And then let's another action in order to get valuable information from emails, such as company name, LinkedIn profiles, we're going to be using the clear bit action. And we're going to find social media links based on an email. And then let's pick action one and pick that email column right there. So I'm going to click on confirm. So get the data, enrich the data, and then whatever gets returned, we want to put back into the spreadsheet. So for that, we're going to use the update spreadsheet row action. Let's find it here. Update Google Sheet row, HubSpot contacts, that's the one. Then we need to specify which row needs to be updated. So this we're going to look up based on email. We know the spreadsheet, the row to update, and let's grab information from our clear bit action and edit over here. So clear bit action returns two types of objects. One is person object, the other one is company object. So I can say where the person works at if the company is available. So here I can access some company information, for example, company name. Uh, this is perfect. I already know the email, so let me get the name of the person, clear bit, person data. And then we're going to get our name over here. It's going to be full name, not the first name, but that's okay, we can update it later. And then for the URL, I want to grab the LinkedIn profile. So here we have LinkedIn profile. And then for the website, let's grab information from the company. Let's select this. And here we have the third argument, find rows by value. What this means is that in this column called email, what value are we going to look up in order to update that spreadsheet row? Um, in our case, that's going to be email. So let's grab email from our original action, action number one. So recap, we're going to update rows in this spreadsheet. We're going to look up this column and find a specific row that has contacts email. And then we're going to update these four fields. And this way we're going to enrich the data. We're going to click on done and name this automation enrich Google Sheets. Okay. I can also collapse Bardeen like this. And here, let's add some dummy data. I'm going to input my email. So there we have my email. I can open up Bardeen and enrich this spreadsheet. Boom, just like this. All of the information was found and the spreadsheet was enriched. Let's try out a couple more people from our company, such as the co-founders. Okay, open up Bardeen and run this automation. This is it. This is awesome. Now you know how to import data from your web apps into your spreadsheet, update spreadsheets automatically, enrich data, and even trigger automations directly from spreadsheets. If this is not an automation launch center, I do not know what is. But what if I told you that you can scrape information from the web using a spreadsheet? So you just input a list of URLs and Bardeen is going to extract all of the information from the web and put it back into the spreadsheet, it's possible. I'm going to show you how to do exactly this in the upcoming video. So make sure to subscribe to this channel or watch the video over here if it's available. I'll see you there.